Before ending up on a plate, the cheque goes through an elaborate preparation process. The cassava skin is peeled, then crushed, mixed with palm oil and fermented for one to two days. Then it's ready to be cooked and sold off to a growing customer base. I have many clients, some from Europe, from Mali, from Burkina, and in Côte d'Ivoire here as well, especially in Abidjan. I make a cheque on orders, and each customer places his order, and we make a cheque accordingly. I came to buy a cheque to go deliver it to my customers who send it to Europe to sell it there. Right now, I have a tiake worth $800 at home. I came to get some more worth $200 to make it worth $1,000. According to the order, sometimes I can send two containers abroad. A cheque known as cassava couscous, or garba, is a dish served during festivities, traditionally eaten with meat or fish. There's no Ivorian who does not eat gaba. It is our food, and when you eat a ticket with fish in the morning, you will not be hungry until 4 p.m. It gives strength. You get all the vitamins from it. That is why we do everything to get gaba. An Ivorian who does not eat gaba is not a true Ivorian, because in Mali they also eat a ticket, in Gabon, in France, in Senegal, and throughout the world people eat a ticket. If you test a ticket, you will even forget about rice. As long as I'm not eating garba, I'm not satisfied. But when I take it, I have the strength to do anything because it boosts me. It is a very solid food. If you eat it at 9 in the morning, you can take your next meal at 6 in the evening. In Europe, a cheque sells for around 10 times the price as it does in Côte d'Ivoire leading to some concerns that the growing export trade could cause local shortages of the staple food. And that as the industry grows, smaller producers could be sidelined. Let us not forget that if we move to industrialization, we must make sure that the women are not set aside, because the industrialization process will indeed show that many women can be out of business. So as the Cheke continues to grow in popularity internationally, Côte d'Ivoire is seeking to strike a balance between achieving international market growth with protecting local supply and industry. Andrew Thompson, CCTV.